Good evening. They said, Tina, how are you doing today? Um, we are going to continue talking about package.json, package.log.json. And before that, I will talk about semantic versioning first. So let's take a look at the source code. Last video, we stopped here. We, create, uh, we add a moment, which is a third party module or dependency or library, which use, is used to parse, um, like parse, sorry, excuse me, validate, uh, not a validate, what's the thing? Uh, parse, well, uh, validate manipulate and display dates and format for us okay and here we have a version here and what does this carrot mean and what are those numbers mean most likely in every project library or dependency you are using is gonna have a version there we want to uh, we want to give the continuous support, right? So we can using the version number to keep track of our release bug fix or, uh, or, or feature changes. So first, let's take a look at what are these three number means. Okay, two two point two four dot zero these three number are taught are called semantic versioning v e r s r one it's uh, not a wrong spelling okay if it's wrong um, leave a comment i will correct it okay so what are these means this number the last number which is called a patch version Patch version is uh, if you did uh, some bug fix and uh, you release a new version of your dependency or your module, then uh, this uh, only this number should be changed. Okay, this is a patch version. With the patch version, we just uh, do bug fix and uh, if other uh, APIs which download the latest version and only change this part, it shouldn't break their APIs. Okay, what this one? This one is called a minor, minor version. Minor version most likely will add new feature. Or did the bug fix okay and uh, in most cases in minor version it shouldn't have any break changes okay and the last one is called the major version and for major version it will have a lots of updates on the APIs but and also it may have the break changes break changes okay. which is very important because if you add the break changes the api or the project using this library dependencies it also need to make the corresponding change right so this is kind of like a guideline or by convention we do that okay now let's go back to our source code so what is this carrot mean okay let's go back and uh, suppose in our dependency we have a uh, we do like this right moment uh, let me copy I think uh, the, I really like a one note because it can copy this thing here Yo, sorry Mm -mm, no, no, it's, I can copy. Yes, but I cannot change the size. Okay, so here you here has a carrot. Okay, it can also add uh, this. Uh, it's called a tile, right? Tie, tie, 
if I'm wrong, uh, comment okay. A uh, carrot and a type. Carrot means, uh, when we when other application want to set the environment, they are able to. Able to update till uh, update the minor version. Which means currently our moment is 2.4.0, right? But uh, on npmjs.com, the moment, okay, the, 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 the developers just released a new version called 2.56.0, or dot, uh, like uh, 338, uh, okay? So when other application, okay, when you want to, when you set your application in another environment, you have to using npm init, uh, install, sorry, npm to install all the dependencies locally, right, in the new environment. And when you have this carrot, it means for npm, he is, Oh, it is able to download this version, which is uh, this version remains no change. If this version is a higher number, I it's okay. So in this case, it's gonna download 2.56.38. Okay, this is uh, this carrot mean. Okay, what is uh, this tile? This tile is uh, only update. Uh, uh, a patch version p p p a t c h version suppose on uh, npm js it also this is the latest version it also has another version which is on uh, uh, two four dot uh, eight nine okay and uh, this is the version which is uh, set on our package.json and we add a tie which is like this before that. So what does that mean? It means for npm install to download the um, dependencies, okay, in a new environment, he cannot, he cannot using this version because here is a tie. Tie means only allow to make changes on this patch version. This is what it mean, okay? for the carrot and the tie, okay? So package JSON will contains these informations like main scripts and author license dependencies. And there are some dependencies which are used locally. Uh, so for development, development environment, uh, let me show you one. NPM suppose later on, well, eventually we will talk about uh, testing. Then we were using Mocha, okay. And this one is only used for developer environment. So when we put our application in the production, Mocha is useless because this is for testing. Testing is should only be available on development environment. So when we uh, install it, we can add a dev. So let's see the changes. A little bit slow okay uh, see now huh? here dev dependencies so when you release to production they won't install the mocha okay and uh, this is uh, the one and the character we talk about and now uh, the last uh, uh, content of this video is package log.json what is this file First, this file is introduced in NPM version 5, which is used to track the exactly the tree uh, exact version number, 
okay, exact version number of every uh, dependency used and also the sub-dependency of the module. Suppose the moment using other dependency, it will all list here. The reason for that is, okay, think about it, the reason. The reason for that is the semantic versioning. Okay, the semantic versioning is kind of like a tricky. They don't, we don't have a way to force user or force other developers to follow what we wrote here. Probably for some user, the in the minor version, they add some break changes. Okay, suppose here the moment on the minor version, they add break changes. Now, if I using carrot, and when it set up the uh, the environment in production, they download a version which is uh, has a break changes on the minor uh, version, right? So it's gonna all the code gonna break. This is what we don't want to happen. Okay, so in that case, we can do yes, we can using package dash log.json to install exactly the version number we install in our development environment. So in this case, we can ensure everything gonna be working exactly like uh, we are uh, using in the developer environment, okay? And, uh, and uh, so, so the package uh, package log JSON, we shouldn't manually change that, because uh, uh, you because first the it's it's very it first you can see what is gonna contain you have to find the right version second one yes package JSON it's match to the package dot json uh, package log dot json should match to package dot json so don't change it manually and when you update a version okay update a version or install a new version don't manually like do like this way please using npm install to install a new version to update the version because in that case uh, NPM will add the changes to package log.json to ensure your um, uh, your project is safe. And another thing is for package.log.json, if your um, changes or your environment to set up using package.json doesn't work, and now you want using package-log.json to set up environment, right? In order to do that, you have to using another command called npmci. It's uh, similar to npm install. The difference is npmci will install all the dependencies at once, and it cannot install single instance, a uh, single uh, module. And the most likely you're gonna using npm ci only to install for the production environment, which using package log.json. So, okay, I, I feel I I I talk, I spoke a lot of like a tongue twister. Okay, anyway, that's all from uh, for this video from me. And uh, if you still have question or you find some uh, something you want to share with me, please leave a comment. Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.